Jay from CSK and this time I will show you in a short video how to install EPC version number six which is basically the same like version number five just a little bit more easier to be honest and how to upgrade an older version from EPC to the latest one when you have bought the EPC version 6, you will get a metal box. And inside this metal box, you will find a manual book as well as a dongle. And of course, a flash drive where the software is on it. As I told in my previous videos, please do not plug in the dongle before you have installed the software. So software has always to be first. And what we have to do is all to take the USB flash drive, put it in a USB socket and wait until this window will appear. So we have here several folders. One is called README. This is just a installation guide. And what I have to do is to make a double click on the install manager and I do so. And below we will find a setup exe and I will start this as well with a double click and then my installation window will appear. In this case, I can close the window behind. This one is not necessary anymore and we have just this window. What do we see now? Well, we have at the very first um, the EPC Win installation. This is necessary when you have a brand new system. Basically, you want to install it on another PC if it is necessary. And below, we do have the update version. That means you have already an EPC Win on your system and you want just to update it. Below the update, we will find then the Weibo code meter driver. This is for a 32 bit as well as for a 64 bit system um, of course this will be do at the end that means after the update or after the installation of the software itself so i will go for the new installation that's why i take here number one and i will confirm it with the install button soon the installation window will appear here we go and all what i have to do is to confirm several windows here um, at least also the license, of course, as well as the path. You can also put another path inside if it is necessary. But in my case, I just go through with next, 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 and the installation will start. The installation is done, and I can confirm now this with here, this little button. Okay, and you see now also he wants that I reboot my system. I don't want to do that right now, otherwise I cannot continue with my video. That's why I said cancel and um, he gives me a warning again and I said yes, I understood that. But anyway, what will be next? Well, you will go then to the Vivo code meter. As I told you, this is the driver. Just go through to the installation as normal. The driver will automatically recognize what kind of Windows system you have, a 32-bit or a 64-bit system and it will do the installation. So all my things are now installed and uh, what is next, we have to take off now our flash drive and I have to put in my dongle. I put it in in a USB socket and I will start the very first time the software and what will happen is he's asking what kind of language do you want to have for the software. I'm using here English and I confirm it with OK. The next what will happen is he wants to activate the dongle. So the, this is necessary to make the correspondence between the software and the dongle. So just simply go here to activate. You see then, in my case, it was very, very quick. Um, it says now your system is successfully activated. Now you can unlock the program options. Here we go. And um, here I can put in the final passwords if I have gotten them already and check mark each option I have bought and put in the number and confirm with enter. If you have not a final password, you can use also the clock icon here. This is the time limited one. And when I select this, I can give in a certain number of days and confirm this with this icon here on the right side. And I got a key number. This key number here we have to send via email by using this button here to ZSK or you get in touch with any kind of person you know from ZSK and then you will get the demo password. So now I have gotten my demo password and in my case I will select now here release all options and I will give in the number which I have gotten from ZSK and confirm with enter. 
Then comes a message, or actually a message should come, called program options were activated. Confirm these, please. Close then the two windows here, and then you are back here in utilities, which you have to close as well by using the X here, and then you are on the main menu. What will be now the different to update the software instead of in make a new installation? Well, that's quite easy. After you have given in the password, uh, another image will appear and ask you to convert the existing directories you have. And um, you have to give in the path where the directories are, and he will do then the conversion. You have to keep in mind, once you have done the conversion, you are not able to go back to the older versions anymore because the data structure is completely different. Just keep that in mind. I recommend to make a copy of the folders where your older directories are in and make them the conversation just in case. So that is now everything what I have to tell you. I hope you liked it and um, we will see us quite soon, I'm pretty sure. Thank you very much. I'm Renee from CSK. Bye-bye.